Hi, Anthony. Hi. How are you today? I'm, you know, we are in the last day of preparation before we launch to Xiaomi Hui Jakarta tomorrow. So, yes, tired but happy and excited. <laughs> Exciting times. Can you share with us just for a few seconds who you are and, yeah, yeah just so few my, words about you? My name is, my name is Anthony Lim. Uh, I'm from Jakarta, Indonesia. We are the local city organizer for Social Media Week Jakarta. My group is actually a group who move in, uh, you know, we operate into advertising, media agency, tech incubator, and also internet companies. That's why we think Social Media Week as a global event is a perfect platform that we should own and launch in Jakarta. Hence, we've been doing it for the second year this year. That's great. Uh, it's great that you took on a, such a great mission to actually gather the whole social media community. Uh, so can you share a few words? Why did you decide to take on this journey? Well, Jakarta is the capital of Indonesia. And Indonesia is a, a country of 260 million people. And 60% of our people are young, you know, below 35. Hence, we are technology savvy. It's a growing country. It's not, it's not a first world country yet. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a very strong economy, very strong politically. And, uh, the largest country in Southeast Asia. All of those internet, the young populations, technology matched together, you create these giant forces. But it's still young, so we, we think that with events like this where we could learn, share together, we could get speakers from all over and more than that, be connected to the global community of social media, uh, social media week. So we think by doing that, we could kind of like not only using technology and social media just for fun, but actually we could try to do it uh, to become one of the uh, power to make you know our country a better place. Well, that's, that's great. Yes. That's great. Um, well, it's going to be few really, really interesting days of sharing a lot of knowledge around social media. What kind of trends do you expect mainly to be discussed for 2016? Well, I mean, we, we follow the global theme of um, the hidden forces of technology. Uh, we think it's the same and, and from there we drive down into social media, internet of things, big data and VR and AR. I mean those are, social media is one of the largest um, thing in Indonesia, again because of our populations, right? So social media is one thing that eventually has stopped being a thing, it is becoming everywhere and so I think people have moved on into the content and how do they interact and use it more. So uh, this year we're going to bring some of those aspects into it, like how do people use social media into a better good and what kind of interaction do people have in social media through content in terms of uh, internet of things and uh, also even VR and AR, augmented reality and virtual reality. That's great. Um, so what's going to be your social challenge for 2016? Well, professionally, I think since we we are in uh, in you know in this in this country, it is very new for a lot of advertisers, um, a lot of brands to actually know how to use social media in an effective way. So this year around, I think it's it's be it's going to be a big a big um, focus for us to how to educate the market and work together with them on how to measure kind of how to measure uh, the social media investments. And secondly, it's also interesting to see where the social media in Indonesia is going to go, like evolve into, not just about you know the usual Facebook or Twitter or, or the rest of the large social media, but we'll see how Indonesia is going to be connecting and what platform they're going to choose to you know, connect more. So those are the things that I think will be exciting and challenging as well this year for us. Great. And um, last few words, just to if you can leave a message to the Social Challenge Week community, please. Well, you know, we 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 live in a very exciting times. We are all, you know, we we are lucky that we we live in this era where, through mobile phones, through internet and technology, everybody is connected. There's no boundaries anymore, and never before, I think, uh, humankind has that kind of power uh, like we have right now. So it's really up to us. This power, these tools, this technology, connections, it is, it is something that we could use to prepare 100 years ahead uh, for our better future. So I think using you know, more connections and understanding each other, learning from each other, then we, together we could actually truly harness technology for the better good. Thank you. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you.